Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. That said, giving, uh, you know, any grubs to a Tristana, even a nerfed Tristana, true, always can be a bit of a difficult prospect as safe champion on side lane, can accrue those gold leads really rad. He has, or not bad, excuse me, maybe wants TP to respond if he wants to. Instead, we might see the 5v5. Woody getting kicks kicked off. Immediate rumble ulti, but Chiton uncontested on the side. Good calling okay. initially to start things off, but they're only hitting the tankiest member of the team. Maple already starting to back away. First blood for the CB Law for Pain Game. Tristana are too far away, so that's second Drake already secured for Pain. Deal Skarner, uh... <laughs> Jeez, what's... I forget the name of the item. This is what he has it. Instantly gonna see that all. It's a quick pick. We look away for about a moment. Bonds, though. This is going to be very difficult for Wiser to hold. And the tower down top lane as well. Maple there to pick up that money. And PSG going to grab two towers. Mm. One will be traded back. It's a bit of an awkward Looks exchange. Like the answer is yes. Hovering off the side. Rumble now coming in. Objective Jinkato immediately going to try to kick things off. A lot of burst used on the Skarner to little effect thus far. Junja with Flash with Smite. They objective in their sights, bursting it down, they get the objective. PSG have a wave to play on, but can only push it out and walk away. Patience, and they are powerful. They just have yet to find that circumstance where they can really leverage their advantage. Initial pick on to Junja. They know that he has no flash. That Skarner ult is doing, or, or excuse me, the Rumble are doing a decent amount of work. Skarner now making his way out. Jinkato is trying to follow up, taking the jungle out of the equation. Immediate snap back cover for Jinkato. He will not drop. We're getting trouble now, too. Riser in the midst of everybody, but a perfect input buffer from Maple. Means he will walk away. P what can they get off of that pick? Well, they could think about Baron, but they might just get the mid turret as Sejuani and Nami are both recalling. And we got some PSG chance. Can they get into the pit. Junja has the E. He should be able to get to the wall if he wants to, but PSG trying to play through the bottom side. Immediate stun now coming in. That's the ultimate. They get it. Infernal Soul for Pain Gaming in game one. Now a quick retreat. PSG desperate to find a fight, desperate to force something back. I mean, this is a pretty big lead now that the soul has been acquired. The next time they fight, they're going to be that much more powerful. They're just buying a little bit of time to make sure they're healthy. They might fight right here. Shinkato going by the wall. The knock not going to hit. Aja taking a decent chunk of damage. Not sure if they get the arm guard or the yep. is there, but either way, highly impactful in the fights to come. Knowing that Rumble doesn't have all to either, Jinkato just continues to finish with these knockups. Junja is so squishy against these champions. The tank jungler not tanky at all. The enemy jungler down, they might go straight for Baron. Oh no, he's interrupted. Woody, pick off to the side, Jinkato should just knock. We're getting knocked down here. He was planning on teleporting straight back in, Fires but now we have a fight. In. Immediate ult to stun, not gonna connect. Nice knockback coming in from Maple. But Betty now gonna be the one in trouble. Cheaton on the front line, so much damage coming through. PSG being pushed back into enemy territory. They need to find a way out of this one. Karaoke going over the wall. Knock up there, another member falling. PNG say, all right, good deal. We'll just turn PNG right in back. total control, Jat. And right now, Betty's ult, the potential for a combo here, feels like PSG's angle out, but it's so difficult to set up when they're so far behind. And when Pain Gaming are playing they're with such him. confidence, instantly punishing Junja. Over the wall, Wiser now coming in. Quick stun, ulti not even gonna come through. Pain Gaming, they got the pick they wanted. Jungle out of the equation. to help the Skarner, and now they're on Baron with no smite. They could finish or they could peel early. Betty's ult is gonna be big here, but Curry has ult as well. Can just throw it in, Jinkato poking. Objective low, no but smite. there's no smite. Kirk doesn't have smite. Oh, jeez. This is... Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this, Pain Gaming. Oh, my goodness. Don't do your namesake justice. Brazil, there's better than you can do. Coming in, you take him. Get him along. Get him along. Get him along. Get him along. Doesn't matter. Betty, take it out. PNG, you have to take it out. You should take it out. The smite. Just in time. A fight of her. But she It's clutch. It might have been messy. But when it matters, he stands up. Just like they drew With it up. Baron is 1600, and no smite was crazy. Yone can't even get out the back of the pit. Sejuani seems like he's gonna die. Yone sacrifices his life for it, but then the smite actually comes up as the next Baron auto literally would have killed the Sejuani, and then Titan, just absolute beast mode. This entire game, the Lucian has enough range that he can kill these turrets. The Baron is gonna help them extend their gold lead. It's probably okay, gold gonna- gold lead. If someone steals an Elder with four members on their team still alive, that team fight gets a lot more even. And here we go. I think they're going to fight before Elder. Junja 
Again, just gonna get picked off here. Pain Gaming, eyes on their perfect target. Now, by the stepping in, quick pick on Aja as well. He goes golden, but for what? He's just delaying the inevitable Pain Gaming. They don't even need the Elder. Just stepping near it is enough to bait in Whoa. PSG. The TP's now coming through as well. The Jax is damn powerful, but this is a He's confident strong. move. Jitai goes in! One-two punch there. AD carry and top lane together. Whoa. Betty, there's just nothing they can do. Maple down for the count. Pain Gaming in game one for a few minutes looked like PSG had it figured out. Like it might be an inevitable conclusion that they'd be able to outplay. But after those few minutes, Pain Gaming, finding the picks, finding the kills, finding the setup, their patience, paying off playing better in game one. Pick after pick, objective after objective. Pain Gaming make the upset happen in game one, even if they lose someone to the fan. And Dracos uh Two right, Jin can kind of be left on the back line, doesn't have to worry about too much. But if this bard does get locked in, will really punish an immobile champion. One like where Pain is gonna take the early Drake, they're gonna give away the early grubs, and we know how that one turned out. They stacked the soul and, and managed to win the game, so Pain's gonna be very happy taking this trade one more time. The Maple did pretty well, and the isolated 1v1 means might be able to let it's Orker Screams. It's such a mm -hmm. good first item purchase, but oftentimes in lanes like this, you feel like just getting the early MR out of Mercs, the extra movement speed helps so much more. Yeah, he's going to be really delayed, and this could be a kill. Locked down there. Visor in trouble, but the initial damage coming in for the Rumble is massive. Over the wall is the buy oh. trying to finish it. Visor still living! He's still alive! Jujubu's oh, alive! The shield is now coming through! He's overheating! Big and arm. Aji holding on. First blood, they managed to finish the kill. Now trying to get out the Q round. Trying to get close to Aji. One more sec. No! The Dente blows not enough. Dead for the finish the kill! Oh, God! A game! I'm not even inches, centimeters, millimeters, decimeters. Great item, something that has, you know, attack speed and crit chance together, or just attack speed, because it's effectively also CDR. You're getting double value, yeah. but Hexdrinker has no double value stats for Yone. Mm. That is a purchase of necessity in a matchup that has been so maple favored thus far, and means that while he'll still get value out of the knockup and the alt and fights, his net damage output is so much lower than it would be with any other item. Because now you can okay. see Maple just threatening Cheetah in the picture in picture there. Pain Gaming determined to set up for Grubs. It'll only take PSG getting one to get them the Might Spawn. As Junja is starting to speed forward, finds the initial CC, the initial knockup. Ulti now coming back to Curry. They've locked Ooh. up two members, but a Jin Kato off to the side, hoping to bring it back. Prom Unbreakable does a little bit of work. Fives are doing a lot of damage down, and Pain Gaming might just be better in the fight. What are you getting caught up with? They want a little bit more. Betty locked up. Maple not quite able to hit on the Shuriken Flip. Aja coming in, though, and he's just untouched. The Gnar ready to take over, but he needs to start stacking Rage, but he's just tired. He has the debuff on. He can't stack anything. Finally now getting it. She's done standing behind. Kato ready to take over. He might not even need another item. Q3 there. Maple trying to finish. Captive audience not going to hit. Bloodbath on the top side of the map. It's before falling to the Yone. And while Maple's in a decent position, he just cannot finish these kills off. Oh, Jin Kato, the edge is short. Also, kind of slow play this bot lane and get two outer turrets with really no retaliation possible. Uh, it's going to like you're consistently looking for these angles, but you can see in the match card lane economy snapshot that uh, the economy not favoring them right now. I don't think they can do anything at this turret, actually. Q flash, Junja on the way in. A lot of base damage coming in strong there. Nasha just taking his time, doesn't even have Mega yet. Just continues to auto, gets those hyper procs, and they'll finish off Wiser here. And very close there, but I think the damage portion of this pain gaming lineup just was not in a good enough position. The carry up wanted to follow up with the ultimate. But Junja in a pretty good spot. That Brom mm -hmm. is in trouble. Cheetan. Maybe can offer him a way to get out. Immediate ulti coming through, sidestep by all three members of PSG. Cheetan in the midst of the enemy team. Jinkato, Q3 ready to go. But Maple behind him, he's gonna snap back. Maple's immediately gonna be on top of him. Short and misses, however. A little bit tragic as Aja TP's in. They're weaker in most fights. And also they can suddenly find a man advantage and burst out a single target. They just don't really have the tools. Maple looking for the 1v1 off to the side. We'll at least get the ulti out of Jinkato. Can just continue to push that tier two. It's gonna force the recall from the Yone, but Maple instead might just reset and be ready to TP if he needs to. Pain Gaming, Game. looking to kick this fight off. Yeah, they just want to. They just want to flip it. Lock down there. On the carry oak should just be an immediate kill onto the buy. Excellent follow up coming as well from the Nar. And now Woody trying to disrupt the rest of the fight. Jinkato in the midst of the fight, but he does not have the all DQ3 going to be taken out to safety. PSG striking back in this game too. It was already a 5k gold lead, and it is only getting bigger as Cheetan left alone to defend this tower. But Maple is here, ready to threaten. Always have Focus. pressure somewhere, and Pain can never feel like they're in the right spot. So you could see Pain really wanted to contest that Drake, but they didn't have any waves pushed. They had poor vision, and they just didn't could have a good entry into the fight. They uh, they also can't win through Soul, but they can win through just killing all of Pain and then killing the Nexus. I think that's going to be the strategy they take. Yeah.
Q3 on the Jinja does not do much damage. The Skarner felt lackluster in the previous game in the face of the Sejuani, but in this game where he's so tanky and so far ahead, very hard for them to delete him, but not quite going to be the catch of cards as Woody's in the midst of the entire team. Karyok now trying to retreat Maple. Big damage coming from that Storm Surge. Ulti coming through as well, interrupting the Fate Seal from Jinkato. The curtain call won't quite finish up Curry, and now PSG Jordy can take the turret every time they move up with a wave, and it's just a matter of time until they extend the gold lead. In gaming, hoping maybe that a member of PSG will be caught out. Unless they do want to go for some sort of fast play, where they fish like this, the previous play, yeah, for some sort of pick, some sort of aggressive move. But they'll always be doing it at a gold and vision disadvantage. As Junja starting things off, suppression there, stopping rumble from ulting. Visor in trouble. Will he get anything else done? Desperation ult to little effect, and that's the risk of stepping up into territory you do not control. Yeah, I'm just trying to hold a little bit, make sure Baron isn't getting started, although it's going to take about 45 seconds for PSG to kill Baron if they started it. But this is the plan that we thought PSG would have. They push mid wave, they get a pick, they move towards top wave. Three lanes of pressure. More damage. Jinkato forced to go back. Q3, immediate ulti. Five there to body block, Ooh. crucially. Or it would have just been a kill. But now another tier two falling. Gnar already splitting in the bottom lane. Someone needs to match, but Yone needs to go back to base, which makes everything so damn tricky. Bit of poke on a Junja maybe slows the Baron, but again, Baron probably not their priority with this particular composition. Is well, now maybe. desperation pick on the side lane. Can they take out the Gnar? Jinkato on the way in. Woody here to cover as well. Aja waiting for the ulti, waiting for the perfect time. Flash in, massive engage. Aja still standing, knock back on two, three. Doesn't have to throw them into the wall. Doesn't think he has the range, but Maple's there. And Maple has more than enough damage to do the work himself. Maple and Betty just cleaning up. Cheetah on the last man standing. I think that's probably going to do it. PSG with a dominant game two here, only 24 minutes in, looking to finish off the ace. But even if they don't, they're going to be pushing these Nexus turrets right away. Whiplash for Pain Gaming. Incredible game in game one, but PSG not playing around in this game two. Maple getting the better in the 1v1. Aja Is better. next to them? PSG is going to snap and gauge, especially with the Skarner. Through the wall, yeah, into the go. wall, there's the snap engage as predicted. We've seen that exact engage twice this game, I want to say. And this time the ulti catching Curry. Mid animation as he goes back, so support out of the game. Chiton stepping up here, Junja immediate Ooh. flash in, tries to find a knockback. Chiton living for a brief extra moment, but they're going to need to block with everything they've got. Have to be careful the curtain call as well. So many things to take into account, but Chiton's still alive. Maple, though, finally joining the fight. The damage from the Akali is good. Karyo giving his life just to get his team out. Now yeah, that's, without, that's without Maple. Now we're 15 seconds. So it is slow. Like, you can see why yeah, it's slow. they done it. They're hilariously ahead. That was and a 20 seconds. Uh, you know, not as important because he has such a massive lead. And Maple continues to threaten on side. They don't have a ton of range. They don't have a ton of poke. Although, as I said, Maple might be ready to go in. He's thinking about it. But the way clear outside of pain, not great either. Immediately, they're going to try to follow up. Nice disruption coming from Junja. They find a shutdown initially. Knock back into two, though. Nar and Skarner together doing work. The beefy boys on the front line getting it done as Maple comes in to clean up. Cheetah going in, trying to finish up Maple. He doesn't hit the Q. Mm. Oh, he gave everything he had. One last desperation effort at PSG. They've only got three creeps. But now with the bot lane coming in, they should just end it here. Yeah, pretty respectable engage there by Payne, down this much gold, being able to get two kills. But that was always going to be the final outcome when they try to have that last fight. Two Nexus turrets down and soon to be followed by Nexus. Nexus will fall as well. PSG striking back in game two to tie. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we are. Well, I, I mean, well, I asked, uh, hey, coming to game two, hey, uh, is... <laughs> okay, here we go. Set up on the bot side. Level three there. Nice knock up the cleanse isn't going to help there. Lock up now coming in. The root not going to do much of anything. Betty now in trouble. Minion wave doing a decent amount of damage, but Cheetah should just be able to grab that first kill. Nice use of the hawk shot to keep him standing. Carry now he's going to follow up on Woody. Jojo is here. Lisa needs to be careful. Junja early burst isn't going to be that crazy. Alistair already up. Curry hoping to mitigate this a little bit. Q in to try to follow. Clone now coming out, but the lockup is there. Leona passive offering that bit of extra damage to make sure Junja can secure. And now it's Curry who's forced to flash away a bit. It's probably fairly close, but they really did think that they'd be able to bait out play this one. As that's and a game. Game. Kato in trouble. Flash forward. Maple finishes. Junja there to tank the tower shot. Stop Maple from dropping down. Turn into Mega. He doesn't even have the ninja tab completed yet. But luckily, Curry again in the area. And credit to him. He's been consistently in the right place across these games. Good knock up. Level five there. Mark before the clone can come out. Now trying to get away. But Karyoka just following up instantly. Wiser on the way in. Level seven. Going to pick up the kill. A little stop juke comes out from Junja. But nobody's falling for it.
Quick kill back, and Bing even credit like to them. PSG had control of this game, but now they've lost three grubs. They've lost first Drake, and they haven't extended their goal lead. PSG so. have decent vision control, but with Nar able to get first move and having Mega, yeah. this is a really tough fight to navigate. Watch Watch out. Here. Betty and Woody are so low, and Betty doesn't have ulti. So oh a bit of a spectator objective there, window shopping for that particular Drake, but Pain Gaming had more money, had more resources, so they're actually going to be the ones to walk into the store and buy it. It's like, well, look at Wiser's Rage Management, perfectly ready to go. If a fight does break out, we'll start to tick away, but not too far off Mega. They go first. Taking their time on Woody. They don't need to overcommit resources. Why they're now charging up the Mega. A good initial pick. Junja trying to buy a bit more space, buy a bit more time. Jungler already taken off the board. Junja still running, still living for an extra moment. But the knockback is there. Why they're just completely whiffing. Knockback wish again, Nor! Missing everything. PSG outplaying it. Now, Audra, this is the perfect circumstance. He just wants to chase these kills out. Vapel is there as well. The dynamic duel, the solo lanes. A PSG trying to play clean up as Betty returns to the mid lane. Payne had so much confidence going into that fight, but PSG are the ones that just execute straight This is the circumstance up. where if you burn all your cooldowns, Vayne is going to have a hell of a time yeah. running you down. Thinking about a dive bot. That's a Meganar, though. Wiser. They're going to kill the turret first. Ulti back up. Going to go in, go for the pushback into the wall, get a little bit of damage down, but no one is in the area. Meanwhile, his team already trying to take down other objectives. Wiser taking out of the equation, but it's tier one top. Traded in return. Mid lane, I believe, under pressure as well. So two towers taken down for one. Pain Gaming in a decent spot. They want to continue to trade up. No one has taken the Herald. It's not the center of attention. Instead, so much more about pressure on these side lane objectives. And we're just getting a bit of a, a, bit of a side lane race. We're going to take two as well. I think they're just agreeing to give each other money. Which, if you could do this in real life, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> Guys, I've, so, fig I've figured out economics. I've never yeah. read anything about it. I don't know anything about it. But what if we both carries of PSG that do have two core items? They see Maple Top. They know he has to TP in. They're hoping that they can just burn this down, that they can just get themselves into soul point. Wiser with the ultimate. He has to be better in this fight. Maple's already on the flank. Chichon now going to be in trouble. Then Ariel completely whips in terms of overall timing out. Chichon is going to be in trouble. E1 connecting. E2 ready to go forward. Carry up. Can't kick him back in time. The execution once again from PSG is just better. Wow, that was so close. They almost missed the smite on the Drake. It went down to 13. Really enough in the game, and the goal lead not big enough that it'll take a little bit of time. But Karaoke, can he get into the pit? Stop it. Doesn't have ulti. 5k getting lower. Jinkato, closer, closer. 3k, they're going to try and burst it. The objective should just fall here. They're going to try to pick up the pick in the meantime. But I don't know if this fight favors them. PSG still ready to go. I would slightly favor PSG from this point. But it's like they're, they're out of mistakes. Yeah. Titan has to watch that tower get taken down. But luckily has And enough. if you're PSG, you do not want this Drake taking damage. The closer it gets to a flip, the closer you get to losing the game. Aja on the flank. If he goes in first, it'll be difficult. Now the ulti getting brought out. Junja getting lower and lower. Aja waiting off to the side. Visor hoping to find that good ulti angle. Oh. Curry now taken down. Karaoke going back in. Woody lower and Drake lower. 2k on the objective. Can they find a way to finish this one off? Karaoke knocked out of the fight. Betty stepping up. One, two shots trying to find the job. The Hextech Drake taken out and taken down by PSG. Visor and Karaoke oh. trying to make it happen. Maple in Maple. the clutch. One kill, two makes it look easy. Three overall. The triple. I think the series would be over. Over an angle. A lot of damage on the clone there, but it cost them getting in position for the solar flare. They try to force the play on the side of Pain Gaming, but PSG punish that single moment. That it starts to feel a little bit easier for PSG, I think it's safe to say. Three and a half items getting closer and closer to four. Their gold lead not insurmountable, but feeling pretty damn close. Still have to respect the potential of Soul, but otherwise, they're in perfect setup to close this one out. They absolutely are. They haven't made that mistake yet. They had that one mistake still to spin. Yeah. Is there uh, a chance he can get it before? He's only on 700 gold at the moment. 400 more, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe they can get Maple, though. Maple eating the wrong way. That's not what you want to do. Draco. There goes the Zanyas. I cursed him. I'm saying I cursed him. I'm sorry, PSG fans. How could he die, he says. How could he die? The, the answer is, yeah, that's how. He could E the wrong way. But okay, now, so Aja's Vein is taking this Drake. Do they try and defend this 4v5 because of the gold lead or just delay long enough 40 seconds for Maple to come back alive and teleport in? Because this, no. this soul is up. They have to take this. PSG have to be willing to concede this, and they have to try to fight through a team with Hextech Soul. Go for the 50-50 here. Do they win the flit? Lee Sin off on the side. Junja in the midst of the pit. Aja just coming straight over the wall, knocking. Curry's going to knock him out of the pit, but it's just about who can get the smite in the end. 4K getting lower. It's not low enough yet. Junja trying to focus on the kill. They want to kill the Wukong. They absolutely don't want to have to flip it. They know you. Junja's still alive, though. That's going to be crucial. She's not getting in the midst of the pit. Junja about to die. But the Baron's still alive. Trying to go down. PSG. They don't even need Maple. They're stronger. 
die. Tunnel vision on the Drake allows Aja's Vein to just free hit throughout. And just like that, Dracos, I think the series is over. They're going to teleport in <laughs> and kill the Nexus. Maple. Oh, Wukong just died to a turret. Five head, Wukong just died to a tower. They're, they're still going to end the game. Death timer's been too long. Curry, there's got to be no way he can hold this one. PSG, it starts with okay. Maple getting picked, but they outplay. Tunnel vision from Pain. Focus too much on the objective. Means that PSG will come out on top. Maybe not the cleanest game they were looking for, but still quite.